pick up there, and it's a first down. And the Cardinal first down. On the counter, Lindsey. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll run with a former Tar here, T.J. Logan. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. The tackle made at the 47. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Murray going to try to throw on third down. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They do go for it. It's Murray. Now this is incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. It's a turnover on down. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Three and a half to go, first quarter. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Second and 11 at the Cardinals' 48-yard line. On second and 11 now. Rodgers now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays most of these quarterbacks, 
When they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up four. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Lindsey, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it, you're exactly right. Looking to throw on second down. Murray flushed to his right. Incomplete. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Murray on third down. Able to find Isabella. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First catch of this wild card game for a thousand yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down too. Shotgun now for Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Second down, a run with Lindsey. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers' 30. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. No score after one on EA Sports. That's the end of the first quarter with no score. down steps away to his left that ball complete to Isabella and he is out of bounds right around the 10 yard line that one good for 20 on the catch and run they talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time here's where it really pays off able to move evade and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down First and 10, it's Lindsey. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Oh, 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the gun, Murray looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for, and it's third down. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. to throw on third down. Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk for a Cardinals touchdown. Pass complete to Christian. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Pulls it in at the 13. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. 47-yard line. After the turnover, here's Murray. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of Give him nine there on the first down completion. At the 38-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Eluding the pressure right. The improvisation gets him only a couple, but that's all he needed. First down. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun, Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. 
Lindsay, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. A reminder coming up at the half as we've done all year. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown on what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin on the road to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. Second down now. It's Lindsey. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll try and run for it with Lindsey. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And it bangs off the right, upright, no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And no mistaking that sound. It reverberated through the whole stadium. And it's the sound, Brandon, no kicker wants to hear. It looked like he had it on target the whole way, but the upright said, uh-uh. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. The result's not great thus far. A punt on the first drive and an interception last time out. And let's face it, every team wants to come out on the field and play with some confidence, play with some tempo, play with some rhythm. And when you're making those types of mistakes, you're not getting any of that put together. So what do you say, time to get back to the basics for them? In a lot of ways, yes, but the biggest one, of course, is finding people who will take care of the football and make a few plays. You've got to have a drive now that calms down the entire team. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he finds some space past the 25 and the 27. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Gain of four makes it third and seven. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. At the 43-yard line. Here's Rodgers, escaping the pressure right, and he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. 
Second and ten. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. That's good. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. The 37-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. Here's second and five now from the 37. Check three, check three. Check 15, check 15. Check the backer, check the backer. Kill, 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 kill. kill. From the shotgun to give to Jones. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from 53. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Matt Prater set to kick off. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card bout. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. A gain there of 21 yards. First and 10 at the 49. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's Jones, and this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. He was taken four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. A two-yard gain. It's fourth down. 
So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. The drive will commence with a run by Lindsey. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Another run by Lindsey. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. But defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. From the gun, Murray. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. down with Murray and able to find Kirk complete and he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds a curious decision to go for it but it pays off with a first down from the gun. Murray flushed out right. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Third quarter, wild card round. Thanks for being along for the playoff ride with us. Here's second and ten. Throwing again, Murray. Now that'll be caught by Cup. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Cardinals on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and four. Throwing again. 
again, Murray. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple Matt seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. And his through. kick is right through. Makes the score Cardinals 14, Packers nothing. Matt Prater set to kick off. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. A fairly short kick from the 14. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work on a crucial, crucial drive. First and ten. Looking. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, 75 yards. And the Packers are back with it, a score. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Crosby connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. kickoffs away and no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken the Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line Driving at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this, a very important drive leading in the fourth quarter of this wild card game. But this one far from over as they start out here first down. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Six at the 29 yard line. They'll run. It's Lindsey. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Throwing on first down is Murray. Flush to his right. 
And his pass incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. to throw again. Murray He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. play right here third and ten and I would expect pressure here <laughs> on third down Murray and look at this they get the turnover they needed it's intercepted Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, is we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They will look to flush the memory of that pick six as we now have a brand new tie ball game here in the fourth quarter. Getting down to the good stuff. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. He used the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a carry for Lindsey. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second down, it's Lindsey. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. He's brought down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Fourth down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports.
to the Cardinals. They've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They're going for it. It's Murray. And no, it's incomplete. Kyle Fuller there defensively. Boy, an incredibly aggressive move to go for it there. Game tied fourth quarter. you got to be surprised. I am, and I know that we're in a new era of football where we look at the analytics sometimes, and a lot of time the analytics tell you to go for it, right? But do the analytics take into account the game situation, where we are, all those things? In this situation, I thought it was an incredibly aggressive play. It didn't work out, and again, tie game fourth quarter makes this thing a little bit more interesting. They'll go again to Jones. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Brings up third and four. On third down, here's Jones. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts as a stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Partner, you get about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. On the give, this is their fullback. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So the game here hangs on the right foot of Mason Crosby. This to advance to the divisional round. And the 13-year man puts it through. And there'll be some happy cheese heads tonight as the Packers have won the game. They said beginning of the season they wanted to get past the wild card round. Well, they just got past the wild card round. How about that, being able to put the big check marks up in the locker room, right? Yeah, you know, get to the wild card game. Check, got that done. Win a wild card game. Big check. Now you've got to go ahead and set your sights higher. There is a bigger prize out there and they still have an opportunity. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.